So I want you to imagine yourself in your grave and the angels, they approach you. They ask you the three all important questions to see if you pass the test of life. Who is your Lord? What is your religion? And who is your prophet? Imagine you're in that state right now. Will you be able to answer those questions? You need to live by these answers so you can answer them in your grave. But a person can't live by something that he or she does not know. So you have to learn these things. For that reason, we have a Islamic studies program and we'd like to invite you to take a look at the program by joining our Telegram group at the link below. And if you like it, inshallah ta'ala, and you think this is something that could be suitable for you and you may be able to learn that you're Dean here, then you can register for the first year of our program. And hopefully, we we'll see you on the other side. Assalamu alaikum. So the first stage of what? Fiqh is what? Is, is ibadah. Not to say that the others are not ibadah, but this is between you and Allah. And this encompasses the following chapters. Number one, tahara. Purification. Number two, salah. Number three, Jannah is funeral rites. What to do with the dead body? How do you pray on it? How do you wash it? How do you bury it? Number four, zakat. Number five, siyam, which is fasting. Six, hajj. Hajj. And umrah obviously comes under that. And also, what scholars mention in ibadat is slaughter. The udhiyah, for example, on, on Eid al-Adha, what do we do? We slaughter an animal, right? The slaughtering comes here. Also, another vows, vows, vows and oaths. So the first, you see how this is, salah is, you and Allah is the Zakat, Allah told you to do this. Does that make sense? Siyam, fasting. Hajj, going to the house of Allah Azza wa Jal. This is talking about al-mu'amala, the relationship and the dealing between the creation and the khaliq, who is the creator. 